things like Ozempic and Wegovy. People say they're losing weight and feeling healthier, but do the injections come with short or long-term health concerns? That's something to think about. Macy Moores with our On Your Side Safety team took those questions straight to the doctors to get some answers. It's a group of weight loss drugs skyrocketing in popularity. Ozempic, Wegovy, Monjoro, and Zetbound are flying off pharmacy shelves. Bariatric surgeon Dr. Craig Smith works with hundreds of patients at St. Mary's Medical Hospital looking to lose weight. There's still a strong uh, push towards surgery as well, but there's definitely a trend towards medication right now, if they can get it. But with the medications in such high demand, there are now national back orders. So we ordered the medication for people, but they can't get it, or they get their first dose, and they can't get the second or third ramping up dose. So they kind of fall away from the therapy because they can't actually get it in supply. It's that in demand right now. Smith says patients can lose up to 10 to 15 percent of their body weight in about a year. He says most patients must keep taking the medication long term to keep that weight off as well as incorporate a healthy, balanced diet and exercise. The medications work in part by slowing down how quickly food passes through the stomach, making you feel fuller longer. So what exactly are the short term and long term effects when it comes to taking weight loss medications? Well, Dr. Smith says it varies from person to person. Side effects include nausea, um, vomiting, maybe even pancreatitis or inflamed pancreas. And in some people, they're having long term uh, stomach emptying issues called gastroparesis. That condition, also known as stomach paralysis, is reported in dozens of people who took part in a first-of-its-kind study on the drugs last fall. And while you may also see a lot of talk about Ozempic face on social media, experts say it's rare and your face is always one of the first places you show weight loss. For Sherman Logan, who was prescribed Ozempic for type 1 diabetes, there have been no serious side effects. I'm feeling very good right now. Logan dropped 25 pounds last fall. He didn't intend to lose any weight, but has been able to keep it off. I am exercising now and, you know, watching what I'm eating. So while there are success stories for people on the drugs, you should always discuss the pros, cons, and risks of any medication with your doctor. For 12 on your side safety team, I'm Macy Moores. Thanks, Macy.